Okay, boxing fans, my prediction now Mike Alvarado versus Juan Manuel Marquez. Both fighters coming off a loss. Marquez coming off a decision loss to Timothy Bradley. Now he's at this crossroads fight in his career with only a rematch with Bradley or a rematch with Pacquiao that he could go to towards in the future. Whereas Mike Alvarado is coming off a bad KO loss to Ruslan Provotnikov. But he's also coming off like a win and a loss against Brandon Rios too. You know, if we look at Juan Manuel Marquez right now against Tim Bradley, he looked extremely old. He did, not, he did not do very well in that fight. He's always had issues with movers, always had issues with people who know how to box. But even in the fight with Bradley, Tim Bradley gave Marquez a few opportunities where Marquez, you'd have expected him to be able to make something of him because Bradley can lose his head in fights and do his own little thing and not follow the game plan and had a few little times he did that but in this case Bradley got away with it Marquez couldn't capitalize on it and Marquez lost the fight you've got to give it to Marquez though initially the team did not want him to fight Bradley but he ended up going in and doing it anyway and you know he took the loss but he's come back he's coming into this fight and we'll see how he looks Mike Alvarado on the other hand he went into the first Rios fight got stopped, took a lot of damage. In the second Rios fight, he won a decision, but in that fight he also took a lot of damage. And in the Provotnikov fight, he came in, failed to make weight first time round, looked gaunt as hell as a drug addict, you know, like a drug addict would do, as you may have seen a few of these fools. He lost the fight by retiring his corner after taking a terrible beating. And this suggests to me, Mike Alvarado may have taken way too much of a kicking lately. Now when you, for example, take into consideration that he's fought three times in 12 months, fighting three wars, two against Reels, where he, you know, one win, one loss, but still overall took a kicking in both, and one against Provotnikov, took a kicking in that. And what have we seen in that time? His punch resistance has degraded significantly. He is now 33 years old. Think about those wars all in 12 months. Has he given himself enough time to heal? I don't think so. I do not think so at all. Plus, here's a few few extra little points for you. I think Mike Alvarado is going through a style crisis. Pre-Rios, Alvarado was a come forward fighter. He liked to try and bang it out with you and he used his size and his power to his advantage. Now, he only seems to be a boxer who wants to like fight, but he doesn't believe in his power or his chin and therefore relies on basic movement and basic boxing skills to try and carry him through fights with world title competition. And as you can see in his last few fights, it's not gone really well for him. Lost to Rios by knockout, lost to Provotnikov by knockout victory against Rios but to be fair I didn't think he'd look great in that fight either I did not think he looked great in that fight so for me I'm gonna say this it don't seem to be working for Mike Alvarado and that is why I'm gonna say Mike Alvarado will lose this fight by knockout to Marquez and probably retire after this fight this will probably be Mike Alvarado's last fight I mean I think it's um, what's the word to use? I think it's very fortunate upon him that he is here at the world class, possibly even elite level with Marquez, because off his record he don't deserve it. He don't deserve the type of fight, this type of payday. But then again, I guess Marquez coming off a loss, Alvarado coming off a loss, same promoter. You know, you just want to make the most money off them both. See which one's the more shot and throw that guy in the bin and throw the winner into a money fight probably against either Bradley or Pacquiao so yeah you know we'll see where will I see the winner going like I said money fight where will I see the lose going Alvarado will be the loser in this fight and I see either the only thing I can see him doing possibly is getting pushed into a Bradley fight possibly but you know like I said we don't know if that will be the case and I hope you enjoy this prediction actually tell me what you think about this fight because I know a lot of people think I, I'm harsh on Marquez and I'm harsh on Alvarado, but like I said, I've given them their dues. They both fought good fights recently, and 
I think Marquez wins this fight. Alvarado will be too short. And I think he's I think he's overrated to be honest. But you tell me what you think.